So it's 6 a.m. on a Friday, and I'm in my garage because I don't want to wake up the missus. It is cold. I am tired. We have a two-hour trip south to Bentonville. Let's just do it. All right, you want the Olave and Garrett Wilson out of 25, PSA 8, for the Rogers driver clubs. All right, perfect. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, so we've been back from the show for a couple days now. It's Monday, and it was exhausting. Stayed at the trade night past midnight, and the next day I couldn't even fall asleep till 2.30. So I put off the filming, I redid my math, and we're going to check out what did well, what didn't, and talk about the show, but also show our pickups and what we picked up for the PC. Hall of Fame PC first. You know, there wasn't a ton, a ton to pick up there, but I found what cheap stuff I could, including a Steve Carlton and a Dennis Eckersley. These both cost me five total dollars, so those will go into the Hall of Fame PC. I also got a Ted Simmons Cardinals autograph. I think I paid 10 for this, actually. Nice autograph. It's not a shaky hand auto or anything like that. So that was one that was really cool to pick up. And I need an auto because I do a lot of jerseys because they're cheap and a lot of bat relics, which I'm really trying to stick away from. But it's ironic that I bring that up because we did get a Kiki Cooler. I'm probably mispronouncing that. A relic out of 99. They had it for 30. I wanted it for 20, but we settled it at 25. Guy I've honestly never heard of. He made the haul in the 60s and with a lifetime batting average of 321. So really not too bad. One that also can make the PC if it doesn't sell is this Joe DiMaggio. Got a really good deal on this. Uh, it was a partial trade and I'll show you guys the three cards I got in the trade. It was the DiMaggio, a really nice Sauce Gardener Limited RPA, and then a Sauce Gardener Auto out of 299 PSA 9. I got that, this, and the DiMaggio. Plus 120 cash for a PSA 9 uh, instant Mahomes rookie. So I did pretty well on that. I think I paid 190 for the Mahomes, and the 120 cash covers a lot of that. And then on top of that, you're getting trade value, which I took 75% of. So all in all, not bad. Also traded that Tua that was in the video last week, the Blue Hyper 10. Uh, at the time, it was worth 125, and literally a week later, it was worth $12 less. So I traded five slabs for him, three of the five I've sold. So the two that I have left is this Jamar Chase and this PSA 5, which I'm going to crack this because jerseys never grade well, Anthony Richardson, College, Florida. Not numbered or anything, but it was a good trade for me. There was a Mahomes 2018 Prism PSA 9, a Fireburst Burrow PSA 9 rookie, which sold actually surprisingly quick and at a decent price with his injury and everything. And then I also sold a uh, Olave Garrett Wilson dual relic out of National Treasures, traded it actually for a Aaron Rodgers Donald Driver relic out of National Treasures out of 15 and was able to sell that for 70. So basically just moving up little by little, small things, small trades, progressively getting bigger, and that's the goal. Dante Hall Auto, I think I traded like a $5 card for. It's basically a $5 card as well, but I know where I go, I can sell this. And it's a cool looking card too. Inscription on the number, so that's even better. Uh, I'm always looking for Mahomes relics, and I think this one's actually game used. I need to take that out, but it does say it's game used down at the bottom. So, easy trade on that one. Easy 30 to 40 bucks. Tyreek Hill, this was probably my regret pickup of the show. As you guys know, I'm trying to get bigger, bigger stuff to put into my cases. More slabs, 40 to 50 dollar minimum stuff. I really don't want to put stuff in boxes and just let it sit out. Not just for security, but also because... I want to move up in the value of stuff I pick up. Uh, this was, I think, a $50 pickup, and I bought it because he was 400 yards off the record, set by Calvin Johnson in 2012, and it just wasn't a good pickup because he did not play this weekend. So he's still over 400 yards away with three games. Odds are he won't get there, but the Dolphins should also do well in the playoffs. 
So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I need to offload this specifically as soon as possible. We do have a Kansas City show. I know some people still collect him, but that's like week two or three of the playoffs. And by then, Dolphins could be out. Chiefs could be out. Who knows? This is a Satchel Page. Unfortunately, it's not a relic. I bought this for 20 thinking it was something I could add to the Hall of Fame. Uh, it's actually a era relic with Satchel Page on it. So that was kind of something that I burned myself on because I didn't read but the last sold comp was almost 60 bucks, uh, which was a few days ago, last I saw. So that's still something I can flip. We've got a Otani rookie I spent five on. That 20 is a little high, obviously, but Otani is just the it man in the baseball hobby right now. So that's a good one. He just signed that big deal a week ago for 700 million. And, you know, if I can pick up Otani, I'm going to pick up Otani. Uh, lastly, we have some Luca. Uh, Luca is obviously one of the bigger basketball guys right now. Forty dollar, just easy pickup. I think I spent twenty something on this PSA nine rookie out of Chronicles, and Chronicles is a great product if you haven't opened it because you can get a ton of really good rookies and stuff out of that, especially if it's a good rookie class. Uh, that's the last basketball one. Football. Traded for this uh, Christian McCaffrey. I think I traded like a Sky Moore RPA for this, which he didn't play a lot this last weekend, I noticed. Um, who knows what's going on? Reed said it was an injury, but I'm not buying it really because our wide receivers are not doing great. And they're trying out, I think, Richie James right now in his spot. So we'll see what happens. But a CMC, he's just killing it. 49ers are really killing it right now. And, I mean, if, easy trade for that. That'll go up and up in the uh, season as it progresses. Speaking of 49ers type cards, I did have a chance to pick up a Brock Purdy RPA. We just couldn't quite get there on the price. No disrespect at all, just they need a good number, I need a good number, and sometimes it's hard to do that. But it was orange bordered, PSA 8, rated rookie. I think they said they pulled it out of a blaster, so that's awesome for them. And uh, wish I could have nailed that one down, but I didn't. Uh, Julio, this was a partial trade and cash. I think it's five cash plus a card for this three and two Julio. It's numbered to 49. One of the better rookies you can really get out of this set. So quad patch, I'm not complaining there. Zay Flowers for the Ravens. I know they're playing quite well, and I think they locked up their playoff spot officially uh, this week. So good for them. That's out of 55. Have not watched a lot of Ravens football this year, but, I mean, he's one of their – Big, like, first, second round picks. I think he was first. So that's going to hopefully do well there. And then lastly, picked this up off of a buddy of mine. A.J. Brown, RPA out of 399. Bought that for 60. Eagles are not looking the best, obviously, right now. But they'll, they'll be fine. They'll come back. And that is how the week went on pickups. I don't think I sold a lot of my pickups that I got day of because I was trying to reach my goal for the year, which I'll discuss in another video. But we're going to talk about how things did this week. Arkansas, December 15th and 16th. I tried to get into a show two weeks from when this one was, and it was full. It was a one-day Saturday show. I wouldn't mind showing up to sell, but showing up to buy, not so much, just because that's kind of a time I'd rather spend for family. I'd rather go out of town on a Friday I have off and make that work out and still get the weekend. So... We only had bargain boxes, mysteries, and case cards this go around because I planned for eight foot tables and we had six foot. So we did no Plinko this week. However, bargain boxes kind of popped off better than I thought. These were our 50 cent boxes, our $10, our $20. So it did pretty well, about $170 there or 9% of our total. We had two guys who spent 65 and 35 respectively on 50 cent cards because they're set builders. And that was great to me. Our other one, because our battery's running low, I'm gonna get to real quick, is our mysteries that did 20% roughly, $360, and then our case cards did $1,300 roughly at 72%. That's more of what I wanna see right there. I don't mind to do these two other things because since I get a couple of tables, but the goal for next year is to build, is to grow, and is to move on and do better things within the space that we're allotted. So 
That is it. That's how we did at Arkansas this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you all in the next one.